Hello guys, welcome to another let's look at this time of a silly little one button game called Spoiler Alert. I've played through this game but it's just so silly and fun that I thought you guys should have a look at it. So yeah, make sure you're watching the Feed the Beast Adventure series by the way, it's great. And also let's look at Chariot, hasn't had many views yet either, maybe you should watch that. So I'm going to see if I can do better than my current scores but it's like really interesting. Trust me, you'll see. Basically, you're playing the entire game backwards. Press A to jump. Let's get my hand out of the way. Oh, your hand wraps around the screen. I did not know that. A to jump. Look, I just killed a thing. Yay. Pick up the coins. It's all perfectly normal. And press A to jump, and that's literally all I can do. Just jump on the bunny. Oh no, they want... They're going to stop me from getting the princess. This has a very interesting ending, this game too. You guys should play it. It's pretty silly and fun. It's raining now. Uh, how did you get past Mr. Death Bunny? Ah, uh, ha, no bad intro, strong chitty like me. Now come on, Princess Tomato, you're coming with me. See, she doesn't seem to like it very much, does she? Oh no, i finished the game now. What am I going to do for the rest of this video, I wonder? Oh wait, no, I haven't. Game's now in reverse. I'm in the last level, undo everything to avoid time paradoxes and make it back to the first level. That is actually how this game works. So I have to like unkill enemies. See look I just unkilled him. It's very interesting, I'll give it that. I have to un uncollect coins too. Which is also interesting. And I have to unkill enemies like that. See it's just a very silly game really. Oops, yeah, I can't collect coins, I did haven't collected before. So I have to avoid them. But this coin's been collected before, so I need to uncollect it. So you have to avoid the time paradoxes and not kill enemies you didn't kill before. So you have to avoid them as well. Unkill an enemy there. It's very floaty jump, it's quite hard. I mean, these levels are quite simple, but trust me, later on it gets quite hard. So I reckon people should try this out. Also, if you've not joined our uh, joined the channel community chat on Discord, you should do so via a link that will be in the description of this and a few future videos and a few past videos as well. So yeah, I don't know if the link's going to work, but you should try anyway. I like this chitty guy. Look at his strange. Oh look, I can revive lost powers because I obviously died there and lost a power. Now I've got it, but it's like a chili guy with strange legs and stuff. He's rather weird. I know, so that's something that's been killed by a fireball. And now I have to get the fireball back that I originally blew out. Which is um, strange, isn't it? Look, I have to collect it. And not like jump up there and do the wrong thing. <laughs> oh no, I missed it. I could have sworn I got it then, but apparently I missed it. Very annoying. Oh, we got it. No! Keep failing. Keep failing. How can we? Urgh. I think I got it. Yes, finally. Spikes there. It's very complicated. You have to like focus on jumping and catch fireballs and other crap all at the same time. And each world looks different too. And there's some bonus worlds. In fact, I think that might be enough of this main world and I'll show you one of the bonus the, the bonus world because it's great there's a bonus world here it's really really great so look this time it's all like Mexican themed you unlock this when you finish the game if you've got the bonus version or maybe if you don't I don't know I think it's only if you've got the bonus edition you unlock this when you finish the game but it has like more Mexican music that you should be able to hear I think I think I put the volume about right for the music. It's a very loud, but I turned it down. It doesn't have a volume slider, but unlike my stupidity in that Hexels video, I remembered I could just turn down my sound on my computer, which works just as well. So that's interesting. You can hear the nice Mexican mute. See what I mean by floaty jumping? You jump and you land like ages later, so you have to be prepared. I guess that would be easier in a f going forwards game where you didn't, where you just had to make it to the end of the level. But 
There is actually a going forward mode, I think. Yeah, it's speed button mode. It's forwards. No, it's, no, never mind, it's not. I'm silly, but that'd be interesting to play this forwards, maybe. Maybe not. I guess the not forwardsness is what gives this game its unique approach. It makes it be different, really. Oh, bugger. So I have to jump on him at the right time to collect to uncollect all those coins. So I'm not collecting things, I'm uncollecting. It's like this giant rolling ball thing. Oh no. Let's try and finish this level, shall we? And then go look at some look at whatever else there is. Oh no. I don't wanna finish the level. Sheesh. <laughs> it's interesting how cactuses and also in other worlds, snails and stuff get happy when you die. Anyway, I'm obviously not going to finish this level, but let's just have another look at what there is. So there's this bonus world, there's a speedrunner mode where basically to get gold you have to do it all without dying or causing a time paradox once. Um, then there's three main worlds, you saw the first world. Let's have a look at world two. Let's pick a random level because they all have different views. Like there's ice that disappears. See, there's lots of different things that come in. And this one has penguins, of course. Why not? A mushroom you have to jump on as well. And I'm playing this using controller, but it does have keyboard controls, of course. But I don't know if they're any good. For example, I can move my thingies in my mouse. But let's have a look at world one, which is also rather weird. For example, this level. Ow. Yeah, there's like these ones where you have to let them unshoot their la their laser things. So this is the art style for this world as well. So they each have their own different, well not really art style, but theme, I guess you'd call it, a theme. So that's nice. But make sure you watch my other videos as well, because they're quite good. And this community chat thing, which I have already mentioned in this video, is very good. I think you should definitely check it out. But other than that, it's quite a short game really. I got it in a humble bundle. There isn't all that much to it. There's a few achievements, I guess. I have most of them apart from get gold star and all of them. Basically, which I'm not that good enough at a game for. Here's a question mark. Recreate the story in reverse, avoid time paradoxes. What's that? Oh yeah, there's a level editor. I have not done this before. But there's actually a level editor in the bonus edition. I didn't, I completely forgot about the level editor. So that's interesting. Let's go this way. Go. Oh. Go there. I'm gonna go there. Fine, I use my mouse. Yeah, yeah. I just have like a million blobs. You know, maybe a mountain. Maybe have it stars as well. Sure. Let's play it back. Play test, spacebar. What is wrong? There we go. Oh, I crashed the game. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was made in Game Maker. I know that because I got the source code for it in the Game Maker bundle, which is what I got it in. But there's now a crash, by the way, which you can't see. But it's got the Game Maker crash. But anyway, the game's crashed now. So remember to check out that community chat thing in the description and my other videos such as that chariot let's look at which I thought was quite a good video but only has one view so far. So bye!